I tried to stop on a dime. I've done it, uh, you know, a thousand times. Uh, fractured my kneecap. Um, it's a tough situation. Um, you know, for, for me to go out like that, you know, fracture kneecap about three to four months, it's tough to... But it's definitely uh, tough right now to, to comprehend. It's a tough situation to be in, especially, you know, in the finals at the biggest stage. Kyrie Irving is a bad, bad man. Ain't no doubt about it. My escape will always be and has always been the basketball court. Being able to go out there and put on a show for people. Achieving that greatness starts with the training. When I realized that talent was not going to be enough, it was not going to be enough for me to be anywhere near greatness, I made that choice to outwork everyone. At first, the initial shock of getting hurt is like, okay, well, how long is it going to be? You just think about it, you replay it over and over and over again. But those days that you're by yourself and you're a prisoner of your own thoughts and you're trying to figure out whether you'll ever get back there, you know, those are the days that make you or break you. And I can sit here and tell you that there were days where I was wondering, would I ever be the same? Kyrie can shoot, he can handle, he can get to the basket. He's got very, very large hands. He's deceptively strong. If you watch how he shoves off defenders, they try to get physical with them. And, and one of the stupidest things that I ever see are guys that try to get up on Kyrie like you can you can keep the body in front of him. Urban shaking big and Trojan. You you need to step back and take chances on him shooting a jump shot over an outstretched hand. Because Kyrie will blow by anybody. He's deceptively quick. His handle is nasty. He can boogie on anybody. And more importantly, he's incredibly fearless. He is so totally unfazed by the moment. Urban fires. I'm not going to sit up there and tell you he's D-Wade, for example, Skip, because we all know what an elite close of D-Wade is. But in the case of Kyrie Irving, talk about a younger version of a dude that literally is capable of saying, just give me the damn ball, move out the way, I got this. Irving pulls up, stops on a dime and banks it in. Irving drives into the lane, layup rolls around and drops in. Irving's third field goal. Irving off the glass and the run. That's Kyrie Irving. He is unfazed by big moments. Doesn't phase him at all. Irving drives and finishes. Irving goes to Draymond Green, drives, lands, it's good. Plus, because of the way he carries himself, his posture, he likes looks short, but he's really not that short. He's a legit 6'1". Not only that, he's got really long arms, and he reminds me of Allen Iverson in a sense. Kyrie Irving is deceptive like that, because he has these long oh, arms. He's got the nasty handle. Irving shake the base and Trojan. You couple that with his skill and his heart, that brother's cold-blooded, man. This is the this is a, a, a indication of things to come. Irving and Curry, one up. 
by Steph Curry. Six to shoot. He's at the right point. He stutter steps. He launches it. Irving raises up, contested. Irving and Curry, one on one. Irving puts it up. It's good. Kyrie Irving from downtown. And the Cavaliers by three. It's over. It's over. Cleveland is a city of champions once again. The Cavaliers are NBA champions. Uh, history was made tonight, but I mean, that, that championship team that's in that locker room right there, we got to give them a lot of credit. They did an amazing job. And for us, it was just about being resilient and coming in and taking care of business. But I mean, this was this is one for the books, literally one for the books.